so no brings us to this week's Star of the Week. So we, uh, as part of the sort of uh, fact-finding mission of all of our content for every episode, we, we try and find somebody, something, some company, whatever it might be, that just stands out in terms of uh, uh, worthy of us giving us, giving them, should I say, uh, the accolade of Star of the Week. And uh, this week, a bit of a... Bit of a, a heartstring on this one, which I like anyway, but uh, especially with old animals, because uh, let's face it, we all love our, especially in the UK, we're mad on animals over yeah, here, aren't we? Yeah. And it's true though, when you see an advert, if it's like a, oh, it sounds terrible, this, and uh, hopefully people out there re- relate to what I mean here, you'll see a, an appeal advert, and you can get some horrible ones, whether it's for people who have an affliction or who are starving, and, and they're worthy causes. I don't know, man, I can handle that. When I see an animal, like RSPCA adverts, when they find a dog or something that's, that's like a skeleton, I can't take it. No. Or a donkey. Oh, God, a donkey that can't walk. I can't take it. There was um, an article this week, apparently the world's oldest donkey has just turned 60. Oh, for, how could we forget? Yeah. yeah, 60 year old donkey. Wow. Yeah, and. Uh, well, that's all it tells. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, sorry, her uh, partner. He was, he, he was a partner. Well, owner, whatever they call him, keeper. Yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> that might get a bit weird. Yeah, he did look a bit weird, though. <laughs> uh, but celebrating, I can't remember her name now, forgot, forgot her name. Well, yeah, 60 years old. Bubbles. Was it Bubbles, yeah. Bubbles. Um, and, um, yeah, 60 years old, and the average lifespan, I believe, for a donkey, and I only know this because we, we read the article, I hasten to add it, he's 40, so, yes, yeah, good age, good age for a donkey, but I don't know, I don't know what Bubble's secret is, but, uh, but she's still uh, she's still going strong, so uh, happy birthday, Bubbles, happy birthday, but uh, no, this this particular story was a very sad story of a, of a, uh, a lady who, who was taking a bus ride, and um, called, uh, a lady called Gemma Burton, so uh, we, we salute you, um, who basically opposite the aisle on the opposite aisle there was a dog that was tethered to one of the seats on a bus and it was a very busy service and then people got on people got off and she was one of the last ones to get off but the dog was abandoned on this bus and uh it, it's it's heart-wrenching the picture you see this poor dog sat on the seat staring at her and he'd been abandoned i know it's horrific and this gorgeous looking animal and um uh, they, did, they, they didn't want to let it off because they were worried about it getting run over. So basically, they, they, she stayed with the dog and uh, took the dog off the bus safely and uh, and, and, and took it home. And, and uh, they're looking to rehome it. But good news is it's going to be rehomed and uh, all well that ends well. But uh, but yeah, there's some heartless bastard yeah. that's tethered a dog, their own dog. And I don't know how people do shit like that. I really don't. I'd string them up, mate. I really would. They're just assholes. Yeah, I'd string them up. I'd string them up. I, I can't stand it. Stuff like that. You hear some horrible stories. We found a rabbit in that walk in our yard. And we're in the middle of an industrial estate. There's no green around that. No. So I reckon somebody's just got yeah. fed up with a rabbit and just turfed it out. And you hear about people leaving cats in bins and stuff. It's, it's just... I don't know what's wrong with people. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. But... Uh, but yeah, I don't think anyone could do that to an animal. And the only thing I thought, and I know it sounds bizarre, but if it was an old person, is there a chance that... <laughs> they re them. That they forgot. Or forgot the dog. Yeah. It's entirely possible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know it sounds bizarre, it's probably just some heartless bastard that's left a dog on a bus. But then I thought, I wonder, you know what I mean? Mm. You don't know, do you? You don't know. But thankfully, the dog's going to be re so it's quite a heartwarming story, but... Yeah, so Gemma Burton, uh, we, we, we do, we salute you, and you're our star of the week this week. Yeah, so... Um, it's nice to see social media getting a positive result instead of... Yeah, it is, isn't it? I hate them pictures made of people put on social media, and they just, they just put a random photo of somebody, and they say, you know, slag them off. Yeah. This dickhead who tried to break into my house, and then you get 3,000 people coming <laughs> yeah. and say, oh, if I'd have caught him, I'd have strung him up by his bollocks. Yeah. Oh, I know him. Yeah. Oh, somebody going, so... Uh, uh, Say the mate was called Paul. Paul, isn't this so and so? And you're like, fuck off. Yeah. 
Yeah, it never could, happened. No, could have just been somebody just taking a picture of some random person. Poor bastard gets strung up by his It's like vigilante, isn't it? It's yeah. like all vigilante, yeah. I'll tell you what pisses me off with all the social media. If you follow car pages like I do, and they put up a nice, tasty motor, and I mean something that's really expensive, and you get all the knobbers tagging the mates in it, oh, your next car. Yeah, no, yeah. you're not. You're not. No. You couldn't afford a tire on that, fuck off. No, I know. It's, it is, you see that a lot, don't you? You do. You do see that a lot. It's, it's, it is it's horrendous. It's cringeworthy social media. Do you think people were always that stupid? And social media yeah. highlights it. Or yeah, what? I think it just exposes it. I, I definitely think that as I've, as I've got a bit older, because the, yeah, the thing when you're when you're younger, you think that older people are more intelligent. Mm. It's, it's wrong. It doesn't, no. doesn't, it's, not, it's not true. You think age brings wisdom? It doesn't. It really, <laughs> it really, really doesn't. Because I don't know about you, but I mean, I'm I'm not a kid anymore, but I know something thick bastards that are, that are older than me or it should be wiser but yeah it's true and some of the views you know well you could go on now couldn't you? Yeah. some of the viewpoints that people have on certain things you think what planet are you from mm. absolutely horrendous um, but no it's good to know there's good people still in the world though it really really is because uh, there's some horrible guys horrible uh, horrible people who do horrible things it really really is well done Gemma Burton our star of the week for this week. Well done, Gemma. And now, what if I could leave the wife on a bus? Is she microchipped? Hopefully not. I don't think so. No. I, I think it might get made some suspicion off a tie rope. Good drugger and leave her. Pretend <laughs> she's asleep. Just put her head, you know, that head against the window. You know, when I was at school. Well, maybe not school, but if you're leathered on coming home, when you just get the last bus home after a night out, you put your, your head against the window. <laughs> like that. And you feel the vibration of the bus on your head, and you're not doing that one, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if I could do that. Do you think? Do you think? Get her rehomed. We might not be here for episode. I might be on my own for episode 11. I could end up living in here. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm freezing yeah, my balls cold, off. Yeah. I think we want to invest in some uh, heating systems. Oh, I've not got any balls left. My uh, man, <laughs> your man kind of deserted me. <laughs> yeah. I've been neutered. I've been there. Uh, I've been uh, naturally neutered throughout the show. So, uh, so yeah. Should we move on so we can get warm? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so it's time. It's time to uh, explore the opposite end of the uh, the scale, and uh, it's time for this. <laughs>